Hey everyone, welcome back. I am so glad that you guys came over for dinner. This is my new series and because we can't have all these people in and out of our house, I really wanted to do a series where I showed you guys all about dinner and invited you to come on over for dinner. I love having people over. Everybody will tell you that I have people over, I have people over for dinner all the time. Um, I usually host like small group with our church. Um, I usually host like Christmas parties and things like that. Hopefully this will give you guys some quick and easy meal ideas. Hopefully it'll get you out of some ruts. I know sometimes I just feel like I'm cooking the same thing over and over. So I thought this would be a really fun series to just document and have you all over for dinner, show you what I'm cooking every night and you can see what's for dinner. All right guys, this is my little guy's plate. I have one baked chimichanga on here. I will link the recipe down below and in a card because this is the best recipe, so easy, so good. I usually cut it up for him and tonight I gave him some apples and some zucchini and asparagus that my husband grilled. I am making some Mexican rice. As something went wrong, I think I accidentally turned the fire off to so it is still cooking but i'm sure he'll have a good helping of that as well all right guys this is my plate i'm waiting for that rice to cook and then i always eat these chimichangas with sour cream so good the vegetables turned out amazing he just grilled them out on the grill real quick awesome i've been eating like this whole apple so that was all that was left and um yeah i'm gonna go eat and if i'm still hungry i'm gonna have a salad because i'm craving a salad for some reason i don't know what's wrong just want one if you guys were wondering how the rice turned out for dinner this is how it turned out for some reason i forgot to leave some air to steam the rice and that is why it wasn't cooking the way I thought it was going to and I've made this rice for years and years and years but of course when I try to film it something like that happens but this is my husband's plate he actually already ate some vegetables and things like that so I hope this gives you guys some great meal ideas and I will put the link for the chimichangas and the red rice in the description box below Okay, so dinner tonight is tacos, and I just fried up these um, shells that's corn tortillas, turkey, meat, and then everybody's going to put their own fixins on the tacos. I cut up some strawberries, and then my husband actually grilled some vegetables, as you can tell. To not get bored of vegetables, I've been having him grill some. This is actually my portion of vegetables. And yeah, that is what's for dinner tonight. We always have turkey meat. It's so much better than regular. And that is dinner. Okay guys, so tonight for dinner, super easy. I actually was supposed to do a crock pot meal and then the day just got away from me so I was like what am I gonna do so I just decided to grill some hot dogs actually my husband grilled these so this is my little guy's plate and we grilled some vegetables we grilled some zucchini and some brussels sprouts and then I just cut up whatever fruit was over here in my fruit bowl and so I cut up some strawberries over my refrigerator um, I cut up an apple and some um, peeled some oranges and we have that and then I actually made some macaroni salad and I'll show you guys here in just a second. So this is my macaroni salad. It doesn't look too beautiful or anything like that but all it has in it is elbow macaroni, mayo, relish, and uh, hard-boiled eggs, salt and pepper. It's a really simple plain kind of recipe but um, I really like it. I should put something crunchy in it. I just didn't have anything. Um, but real easy, basic that you could add on to whatever you had. And um, if you notice, there's different color. The eggs are the ones from Easter. So the hard boiled eggs in here have a little bit of color to them <laughs> from the dye. Uh, this is uh, that apple that I kind of sliced up. You can't tell, but I like thinly sliced it. Um, orange strawberries and vegetables 
and then two hot dogs. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this plate on over to my husband. Okay guys, so dinner tonight, we're actually having um, baked potatoes with some, basically it's like a barbecue chicken and I will link the video that I did on how to make this and then I top it with a bunch of sour cream because that's how I like it, but it is such an easy meal and I just put it with grilled vegetables from last night that I didn't end up eating all of them, so I heated those back up. All this dinner is is baked potatoes, which I baked in the oven, put some salt and oil on before I baked them, so that's why they look like that. This is actually like a chicken mixture. It has um, barbecue sauce, Italian dressing, Worcestershire, and some brown sugar. It is so good. It's kind of like a mock um, barbecue chicken, and I just put it over the baked potato. So good, so easy. This is like one of our favorites, and it's such an easy crock pot meal. Okay guys, so dinner tonight is tortellini, and this was just a family size pack of cheese tortellini. Super easy, super quick, cooks in like four minutes. So easy. This was a microwavable frozen green bean pack. So I just put this in the microwave for like four minutes, done. And this is actually a Caesar salad kit that I just mixed up, put into bowls, and that's it. Easy dinner for tonight. Tortellini is something that I just discovered fills your family really, really well. Um, this is actually a huge portion of them, even though it lo they look so small on the plate. And it's something that I feel like it fills even better than spaghetti and there's so many different varieties different kinds things like that so that is what we're having tonight